Motherfuckers Anya collected the boys and once in the car they both wanted to tell her all about their adventure into female anatomy. She raised a hand and commanded them to remain silent. I need to concentrate on driving. Hush exclamation mark dot 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 and for the entire drive home the boys knew that speaking was completely off limits. Thankfully it was a short drive. Now can we talk? Blurted Vladimir in a most frustrated tone. They had arrived at home, the garage door was closed and they had finally made it into the hall leading the lounge room. Anya said nothing. She stood there in the center of the room and pointed to two spots on the floor in front of her. The boys had been here before. They each took up one of the allotted spaces and stood silently facing their mother. Now you can speak. They both started to blurt out things about the afternoon, talking on top of each other so much that neither was being heard. Anya held up the palms of both hands to indicate that both boys should shut up. They were both well disciplined and knew not to continue. Pointing at Carl, Anya spoke you my wonderful patient boy will wait. Then to Vladimir comma dot 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 so motor mouth here can say what he needs to say before he explodes. Vlad leapt at his chance. Mom, Mom, it was fantastic. We saw Don and Helen completely naked, and we even had sex with them. Both of them. Now, young man, you will be completely silent while Carl tells me all about it. Anya paused dot 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 and you will not speak again until I say that you can. Vladimir realized that his impatience had been his downfall. He now had to wait for Carl to slowly and methodically tell the story dot 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 and Carl could be very slow and very methodical. So Carl related the story of the whole afternoon. The fake anatomy lesson. Seeing Don strip naked. Seeing Helen strip naked. Oh? The fun in the sauna. The fun in the toilet, he skipped some of that dot 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 and finally the awesome fun in the playroom. A part of Anya was sad that she was not there to see her boys fuck their first woman, but she knew that it would have cramped their style. Finally pointing to Vladimir, Anya asked dot 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 and you, young man, did Helen find a condom to fit your tiny wiener? Carl laughed, knowing his mother was just teasing. Vladimir was not amused. Yes exclamation mark dot 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 and Helen said it was a good size for a boy my age. Thank you. Vlad paused dot 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 besides. I didn't need one when I fucked Helen. Is that right? She asked, directing her question at neither boy in particular. Carl was quick to confirm, absolutely. You should have seen the cum. It leaked out of Helen's pussy all over the seat. All this stock of sex was making Anya wet. If she didn't release the boys soon they would witness a puddle of juice on the floor between her legs. Go have a shower and get changed. I have been running around, shopping, all afternoon while you have been having fun? I need a shower myself. Anya needed to get naked, wash down and rub one out. She was hot, and wet, and horny. She started her shower, she washed herself as she normally would, but when the time came to put her hand between her legs she just stood there. She was still wet and still horny. But the prospect of getting off by herself had left her. Her mind kept returning to the vision of Vladimir on top of Helen, fucking her like a rabbit. She finished her shower and dried herself. She ran a brush through her hair and stood naked in front of the bathroom mirror. Five minutes later she was still standing there, thinking, contemplating, weighing up in her mind the next step. What would Branko think? Would the boys grow to hate her? Could she even live with herself if she fucked her own sons? The silence was broken by a timid knock on the bathroom door. Are you alright mom? It was Carl's placid voice. We are getting worried. Vlad added. Both boys were outside, and they were concerned. In a faltering voice Anya replied yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. She walked to the door and opened it wide. She stood there, facing the boys, but naked. Mom? Both boys were a little stunned. I think I need a hug. She trailed off. The boys had never seen her like this. Being naked was one thing, but being so unsure of herself. She staggered forward a pace or two and they rushed to hold her. The three of them stood there for quite a while in a big group hug. The boys' arms around each other and around Anya's back, their cheeks pressed against her more than generous breasts. There was nothing sexual about the embrace, they were all just very glad to have each other. I think I need to lie down. Come and snuggle with me under the covers. She said, inviting the boys to her bed. Anya released the boys and walked a few paces to the bed alone. She threw back the covers and slid inside. The boys followed, Carl entering from the same direction as Anya, Vladimir running to the other side and pulling the covers back a little for himself. Before they leapt into bed next to their mother Anya uttered one more word. Naked. 
The boys understood immediately. They were both wearing simple pull-on shorts and a t-shirt. It took them just seconds to lose their clothes and slip under the covers on either side of their waiting mother. She held her arms open wide so they could snuggle up close, and once by her side she pulled them both in tight. They lay there, silent, for quite a while. The boys made no attempt to explore their mother's body, nor she theirs. It was Vladimir who broke the silence. Mom, what's up? We had a great day with Helen and Dawn, and we know you are fine with the sex and stuff. But now. He trailed off. Boys, I have a huge decision to make. Anya paused for what seemed like hours, then dot 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 and it is hard, really hard. This time, the gentle giant, the deep thinker, was the one to speak to have sex with us, or not. Yes. Is all that Anya could say. The long silence was finally broken by Anya. Boys, there is something you need to know about your mother. She paused dot 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 I love sex. Not just a bit, not just every now and again. I could fuck all day and still want more all night. When your father is home and you boys are at school that is exactly what happens. We fuck as soon as you leave for school. As soon as your father has another erection we fuck again, and again, and again. We even set an alarm so that you don't find us fucking on the lounge room floor when you come home from school. When she had finished her confession on you fell silent. All the boys could manage was a muted, half-spoken one. Anya went on. Dot 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 and when we have sex, it is not soft and gentle. I spread my legs for your father and he rams his giant cock into me as hard as he can. And this will amuse you. While he is doing it, I'm underneath him yelling harder, harder, harder. Both of the boys recognized the reference to their own exploits, but neither made a sound. Vlad just nuzzled his face into his mother's breast a little harder. Another silence ensued, broken by a question from young Vlad. Mom, do you and dad ever have anal sex? He made a pint of using the correct term as the question was deeply personal. Oh yes. Often. I have to say that your father is at his most gentle at the start of an ass fuck. But once he gets going, once my ass is wide open, he is just as forceful as when he is in my pussy. She paused for a second then dot 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 as a matter of fact. Helen described in great detail the sex you boys were having that day. I have been in exactly that position under your father, and I was pleading for him to go harder than two. The boys had been lying either side of their mother, each with an arm draped across her belly, touching each other. Carl signaled to Vlad by pinching his skin gently. Alert now, the younger boy watched as his brother as he shuffled to a new position. Carl extracted himself from his mother's armpit, hoisted himself onto an elbow above his mother's shoulder placed the other hand flat on her ribs just below her breast, and then, without seeking permission, latched onto her nearest nipple with the whole of his mouth. Seeing that Anya had not objected, nor moved an inch, Vladimir quickly mirrored Carl's actions on the other breast. The two boys sat to gnawing and nuzzling their mother's tits with all vigor you would expect of a pair of teenage boys. Anya let it continue for a little while before she spoke. Boys, boys. I didn't say that I had made my decision yet. Carl let go of her nipple long enough to utter a reply. Yes you did, the moment we started sucking and you didn't push us away. Anya lay there a while longer, contemplating Carl's words, feeling their tongues darting around her nipples, getting hornier by the minute. Anya's arms had been pushed against her sides when the boys had changed positions. Carl's penis had come to rest on the back of her right hand and, being shorter, Vlad's was pressed against her left forearm. Carl was correct. There was no way this scenario was ending without cum in her pussy. Anya moved her hands until she had a firm grasp of two cocks. Carl's was already rock hard. She guessed that he was fully erect before he even started the sucking. Vlad's on the other hand was still a soft fat slug. A little kneading on her part soon rectified that situation. If the cock holding was not enough, Anya signaled her decision to the boys by spreading her legs wide, pushing their legs away on either side. The two boys reacted differently. Carl adjusted his position again, throwing one of his legs over his mother's, his cock in her hand now pressed underneath him next to her hip dot 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 and he kept right on sucking. Vlad, ever the explorer, detached from his mother's tit and disappeared under the covers. Seconds later Anya felt fingers probing her steaming wet pussy. In the dark Vlad first found Anya's pubes then slid down, paused at her clitoris for a second or two then ran his fingers along her labia. When he arrived at the mouth of her cunt he paused. From beneath the covers came a muffled, plaintive question. Mom? Go ahead son. Vlad didn't need a second invitation. Anya felt his fingers dive into her deep, wet cunt. 
two at first, as she felt the others hit the outside of her hole, then three, and finally Vladimir pushed all four fingers up into her. He was reaching over with his left hand so his thumb ended up covering her urethra, tickling her clit. Vlad knew what to do with his hand, he had done the same with Helen on the bench that same afternoon. He hand fucked his mother as she started to write in response to both boys' attentions. Anya had her first incestuous orgasm a few minutes later. Anya pulled her left leg in to block Vlad from getting to her cunt and at the same time spoke to the boy. Vladimir darling, please run out to the hall closet and fetch some towels. The chocolate brown ones on the top shelf. Vlad had seen the towels his mother requested before. They were sometimes strewn in strange places places around the house when he arrived home from school, but disappeared some afterwards. Before he left the room he shot a question to his mother. You and dad use them to wipe up cum, don't you? Yes, son. Now stop asking silly questions and get the towels. A bunch of them. Vlad and Carl both got the implication of the last remark. Their mother was planning on mopping up a lot of cum. Excellent. Vlad returned to find his mother laying with the covers removed, her legs spread wide, and Carl playing with her pussy. While he was under the covers he had thrust all four fingers inside his mom, but he had not seen her. Now was his chance. He crawled up from the foot of the bed and placed the pile of towels on his mother's belly then joined Carl for a close-up look at his mother's cunt. Dawn kept her pussy completely bald and Helen's pubes were trimmed into a neat triangle. His mother's pussy was a different matter. She was a natural blonde with a large, thick, and very curly bush. The hair on her vulva was straighter, just as thick, and about two inches long. As the boys watched, Anya reached down, grabbed a bunch of hair in each hand and spread her pussy wide open. Oh? Holy crap! Were the responses from the boys. The other thing both boys noticed was the swirl of hair around their mother's anus. Dawn and Helen were naturally hairless, as were both boys. Neither boy had seen a hairy asshole before. Vlad stroked the hair around the circle a few times. Anya shivered at his touch. Okay Carl. You were the first out of that hole so you can be first back in. Exclaimed Anya. Come and give your mother a big hug. Both boys knew what a big hug meant. With her legs spread wide, Anya held out her arms, inviting the older boy to mount her. And mount her he did. Carl knelt between her legs and lowered himself on top of his mother's body. He was as hard as he could be and she was dripping wet, so his cock slid inside her at the first dry. He lay there for a few seconds feeling the heat of her cunt on his tool. Carl, spread your legs a little. I want to see. Vlad barked from the foot of the bed. Carl obliged his younger brother and spread his legs a little. Vlad had seen his brother's tackle many times, but never inside their mother's hairy cunt. The view was awesome. Carl started to fuck, slowly at first, but then with more power and speed. Remember what I told you about your father. You are not going to hurt me. Fuck me hard boy. At her encouragement Carl started to ram his cock into his mom much harder. Much, much harder. Anya pulled her knees back so her cunt was pointing to the ceiling. Carl responded by lifting himself into a press-up position and slammed his hips down with all his weight. From his vantage point Vlad could see the whole performance. Carl was young and very fit. He and his mother fucked like this for several minutes but in the end he could not hold back any longer. When he knew he was about to blow he gave four more, slower and deliberate thrusts then held his cock deep in his mother's cunt and emptied his load into her. Nobody moved for what seemed like an eternity. Finally Anya let her shin slip from her grasp and her legs flopped onto the bed. Carl lowered himself slowly from his press up and lay exhausted on his mother's belly. Vlad, who had been holding his breath as Carl climaxed, exhaled a long slow, Anya reached above her head and snatched one of the towels she had stashed there earlier. Reaching between her legs she tossed Carl onto the bed beside her and quickly covered her pussy with a towel. Grabbing another towel, she pushed it into Carl's chest so that he could wipe himself. Vladimir crawled up between his mother's legs, and pressing the towel against her with one hand, used the other to move her hand away. Let me. He said in a calming tone. Vlad pushed the bunch towel down and under his mother's ass. As he did. More and more of her pussy came into view. He saw her flaps, red and hot from the thrashing they had just received. Carefully he took hold of the hair on either side of her vulva and opened her cunt about half an inch. He blew cool air into her crack and directly into her wet fuck hole. Anya shivered and squirmed a little, and as she did a large blob of Carl oozed from her hole. He opened her up a little wider, leant forward and lapped up his brother's comb on the tip of his tongue. 
The magnitude of that small action escaped none of them. Vlad had just licked his brother's comb from his mother's pussy. Carl snuggled back into his mother's side. Vlad moved to do the same. The three lay there together, silent for many minutes. It was Anya that broke. I need to pee. Me too. Me three. The boys chimed in. The boys had seen Helen and Don pee earlier that day. Neither wanted to make a big thing out of seeing their mother do the same. They waiting patiently next to her as she emptied herself and wiped the last of cum from around her pussy. Carl followed, and finally young Vlad. They were all back in the bedroom Anya spoke. Dear Vladimir, I have not forgotten you. You have been most patient, but it is supper time and we are all hungry. Let's have a naked dinner together and you can show me how clever you are a little later. Vlad nodded. He was hungry too. Besides, after dinner he could take his time and have a nice long fuck. Dash dash two hours passed before they found their way back to the bedroom. Over dinner the boys had trouble taking their eyes off their mother's magnificent tits. While cleaning up they came up beside her and caressed her tight brown ass and ran their fingers through her wonderful bush. Anya had downed several glasses of wine with her meal and was now a little dreamy and very horny. During the meal Vlad took his mind back to the afternoon. He had fucked Helen just like Carl had fucked his mother. Hard and fast and frantic. When Vlad fucked on the second time he tried the same approach. She stopped him and showed him some tricks she had learned from her father. Alistair was a champion fucker, and a total pedophile. When he fucked on he took his time, varied his speed and his stroke, and drove her nearly wild. Vlad couldn't compete with Carl in length, breadth, or sheer power. He would have to dazzle his mother with style. Mom. I'm not sure whether I'll end up in your pussy or your ass. Can you take a dump just in case? Anya was a little shocked by the matter-of-fact way Vlad made his request. Then she remembered that he and Carl were both seasoned ass fuckers so it made sense. Perhaps she would end up with Carl's cum in her pussy and Vlad's up her ass. <laughs> Returning to the bed, ass empty, Anya was confronted by the two boys laying side by side, erections pointing to the ceiling. Mom. Can you suck us both for a little bit? We both want to know what it is like to be in your mouth. Vlad was calling the shots. They had left a space between themselves and Vlad was patting the bed as he spoke. Anya walked over them, knelt in the middle and immediately went down on Vlad's cock. She had a hand around the base of each boy's tool and alternated between the never five or ten strokes. The boys each had one hand on a tit and the other in her crack. When he felt his mother's juice start to flow Vlad changed the game. Now I want you to squat on top of me so I can lick you pussy from underneath. Anya did as her boy requested. It was his turn after all. Carl amused himself by playing with his mother's breasts. They stayed like this for some time. The more Vlad licked, the more juice Anya made. Vlad was lapping it up like a baby feeding on it. It was Anya that broke. She couldn't hold the squat any longer. Mommy, lie on your front please. Was Vlad's next request. Anya did as she was asked. None of Vlad's requests have been onerous, so she had no reason to refuse him. She was his toy for the while, so she went where she was told. Vladimir lowered himself onto to his mother's ass, but propped himself up on a single arm. With his other hand he took his tool and ran it up and down in Anya's ass crack. He pushed his down inside her vulva and teased the opening of her cunt. He ran it back up and popped the head inside her anus, and just as quickly pulled it out again. All the while he was milking his juice into her crack. Can you kneel for me? He asked in his cutest little boy voice. Anya complied. Now Vlad got a little more serious. As soon as his mother was kneeling he pressed up close and shoved his cock deep in her juicy cunt. He fucked her a little then pressed down on her butt. She lowered herself into a crouch and immediately felt his cock dive into her super wet ass. They were both so lubed up there was no way he wasn't going to get in. Vlad fucked his mother's ass this way for a few more minutes before he pulled her back up and shoved it back in her cunt. After a few more ups and downs Vlad requested his final position. Now the easy one. Just lay on your side. Again Anya did exactly as her beautiful boy requested. Once she was laying on the bed Vlad took her upper leg and lifted it into the air. This is the position Don had shown him and it drove her to orgasm. Maybe it would work with his mother. Vlad lowered himself onto her lower leg, knees bent so that he was sitting on his own heels. He pressed in tight and took her upper leg in a bear hug. Using only his stomach muscles he drove into her again and again, moving only an inch each time. After a while he backed off a little, reached down and swapped his cock over to her ass. The short, sharp trusts continued. 
He could feel her sphinct around the base of his cock most of the time. A minute or so of this then back to her cunt. He swapped between the holes a few more time before settling on her cunt. Now it was time to pound away as Carl had done earlier. Anya's breathing was heavy, but the boy had never seen his mother in orgasm. Perhaps he had done it, he didn't know. He just kept grounding until he couldn't hold it any longer. He blew his load but didn't stop moving. He slowed to a crawl for a short while, as his mother's pulsating cunt milked him dry. Finally, spent, he sat there with his head bowed, panting. Carl found a cloth for his mother and pushed it into her hand. He found another for Vlad and pressed it onto his knee. No. Said Vlad I want to see this. Give me both towels. Anya handed her towel to her son and waited to see what he would do. Carefully he held a towel on each side of her lower leg. Whichever way the cum flowed one of the towels would catch it. He and Carl both watched as he slowly extracted his cock from his mother's hole. He couldn't back off enough to pull it out so Carl reached in and dragged it away. Anya's vagina gaped wide and Vlad's cum slowly oozed out onto her leg. It hovered there long enough for Vlad to roll away and give Carl room to push his face into his mother's steaming cunt and drink his brother's cum. As Carl drank, Vlad crawled up to his mother's face, flopped down and gave her a kiss. Mommy, did you come? He asked in a whisper. Yes darling. Three times. She replied with a beaming smile. Vlad gave a little fist pump. Yes, 